I'm anxious just sitting here talking about this because I know there's going to be people pissed at me for, for putting this video on. What's going on everyone? Michael Chank is here with Charles Ruttenberg Realty in Lakewood Ranch, Florida. Today's video is going to be completely improvised. I felt like I had to say this. Probably people aren't thinking about this and they just don't realize it. They're making financial decisions about where to build a house that could be negatively impacted in a huge way. This is the kind of people that we are. We just kind of shoot straight and if it's important, I want you to know. So here it is. There's a brand new village being built at the end of Fruitville Road down east in Sarasota County that's now billed as part of Lakewood Ranch. That's Monterey. They've already started selling and that's actually what made me start thinking about this because I was looking at lots and talking to a customer of ours about this community and I realized, wow, people don't realize something and they're probably going to contract with the assumption that this is the first neighborhood of this huge expansion called Lakewood Ranch Southeast. And Lakewood Ranch Southeast is going to, is a plan anyways, to bring over 5,000 homes to the lower east portion of our huge map. I'll put that up on the screen here. The thing about it is, it's not a 100% done deal. And there are local residents and local groups in that area who lived out in the country and are opposing it. They've gone to uh, hearings, they've had a judge look at it and rule against them. However, they're, they're filing appeals with the state and the state's going to look at that and make a judgment and then probably there will be more appeals to it from there. So Lakewood Ranch Southeast isn't showing on our maps yet because it's actually not 100% official. Well, if you just went under contract recently in this brand new neighborhood out there thinking you're getting in at the ground level the first neighborhood one of the first residents and it's only going to grow and build and you'll get connected with brand new roads and stuff i mean there's a chance that that might not happen there's also a good chance that it will but there is no guarantee at this moment that that is actually going to happen so people who are buying and building out there you need to know that there's a chance it might not happen I'm anxious just sitting here talking about this because I know there's going to be people pissed at me for, for putting this video on, on YouTube. But I had to let the general public know. This is a, I'll put this link in the description. It's a link to a Fox News article and video that talks ex about this exact situation. It shows who's fighting it, but here you can see. Sarasota couple continues fight against Lakewood Ranch expansion and they want to keep the country country. And at the bottom, the couple's attorney is in the process of filing objections to the judge's ruling. It'll eventually go to the Department of Commerce to make a final decision. Either party can still appeal and litigation could last well into 2025. If you aren't in the know about what's going on or at least what's planned, you could be making a decision that you think is perfect for you. And then suddenly, a curveball comes at you and you are stuck. This is a great example where if you don't have somebody working for you on your side that's going to convey this information, like this could blow up a deal. You might be ready to rock and build in a particular neighborhood and it, something like this screws it up and, and you don't move forward. I'd rather screw up a deal and make sure that the customer and the general public are aware of what's going on because that sits on my conscience. It's not about selling a house. It's about putting you in the right property that's going to make you happy for years to come. Be a smart investment because let's face it, this is an investment and we don't want to see you lose money or put yourself in a bad situation. Yeah, I'm getting a little candid here and hopefully I don't ruffle too many feathers. I'll put it this way. I will put an update video as this pans itself out and plays out. If you don't care about any of this and it doesn't matter and this neighborhood is a good fit for you regardless of which way this goes, great. But if it's the number one reason why you think you want to move out to this particular neighborhood or there's others in that vicinity on Fruitville Road as well, take a breath because there's a chance it might not happen and it's okay to press pause 
because if it is approved, there's going to be more lots, more homes, more neighborhoods, and you'll have an opportunity to move forward in something that you know is actually going to happen. It isn't being fought in the courts right now. So I've said way too much. I really hope you appreciate my candid honesty. And if you are in the market in our area and are looking for a real estate agent who's going to get real with you like this and who knows what's up and really has your best interest at heart, please give us a call. My wife, Courtney, and I, this is all we do and we focus so, so much on doing the right thing and being in the know and just embracing our community so that we can be an advocate for the community and for the consumer. So if you have any questions about this area, or if you just want to talk about real estate in general, some of the neighborhoods, the process of building new, what the resale market looks like, and just what the economy in general and where our Lakewood Ranch area is moving, give us a call, send us a text, send us an email, whatever works best for you. We're here for you and we are happy to help. Don't forget to come back for more video updates. And if you want to keep watching, click the more videos button here for a playlist of all things Lakewood Ranch.